In this video, we're going to look at solving simple algebra equations. In order to solve an algebra equation, we need to get x by itself on one side of the equation. To do this, we'll use inverse operations. And remember, everything you do to one side of the equation must be done to both sides. Let's solve x plus 4 equals 15. In order to get x by itself, we need to use inverse operations. Because 4 is added to x, we need to do the opposite and subtract 4. And we need to do this to both sides. Then we'll bring down what's left. On the left side, we have x. The positive 4 and negative 4 cancel each other out. And on the right side, we get 15 minus 4 is 11. So our answer is x equals 11. Now let's check our work. We're going to substitute in our answer of 11 for x in the original equation. And so we have 11 plus 4 equals 15. When we add 11 plus 4, we get 15. And 15 equals 15. So our work checks out. Now we have x minus 6 equals 12. Again, we need to use inverse operations and do the opposite of subtracting 6, which is to add 6. And we do that to both sides of the equation. Then we'll bring down what's left. We have x equals, and 12 plus 6 is 18. So our answer is x equals 18. And again, let's check our work. We'll substitute in 18, which was our answer for x into the original equation. And so we have 18 minus 6 equals 12. If we solve 18 minus 6, we get 12 equals 12. And our work checks out. Our next equation has 6 multiplied by x. So in order to get x by itself, we need to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we'll divide both sides of the equation by 6. On the left side, the two 6's cancel, so we end up with x by itself. And on the right side, 60 divided by 6 is 10. So our answer is x equals 10. And let's check our work by substituting in x to be 10, so we have 6 times 10 equals 60. And if we multiply 6 times 10, we get 60 equals 60. And our answer checks out. In our final example, x is divided by 3. So we need to do the opposite of division, which is multiplication, in order to get x by itself. So we're going to start by multiplying both sides of the equation by 3. We multiply it on the left, and we multiply it on the right. So then on the left side, if we multiply, we have 3x over 3. And on the right side, we can multiply 15 by 3 to get 45. On the left side, the 3's cancel, and we have x by itself. And so our answer is x equals 45. Now let's check our work. We'll substitute in our answer of 45 for x. So we have 45 over 3 equals 15. And to do a check, we can divide 45 by 3. And our answer is 15. So completing our check, we have 15 equals 15. And our answer is correct. You can practice solving more equations like this in Moby Pocket and Quizzler.